Although the Messerschmitt 109 had an advanced aerodynamically efficient airframe, like all proven fighters, the key to its success was its engine. And for many 109s, it was the Daimler-Benz 600. Even today, it's possible to see one of these unique power plants, thanks to the hard work of the Messerschmitt restoration team at the Imperial War Museum at Duxford. Restoration team member Ian Mason explains. The engine you can see here is a Daimler-Benz DB605A engine from the Messerschmitt BF109G. The engine itself is fairly conventional in layout, uh, straightforward B12, uh, except that it's inverted. If, if, it, if you're used to things like um, Merlin engines or Allison engines or anything of that sort, they nearly all tend to be an upright V with the carburetor in the center here. Now, the Germans turned that upside down and replaced the carburetor with a fuel injection unit, which gives you a much speedier response on the engine. When you hit the throttle, you get an almost immediate response. And also, you don't have any negative G problems, which is very important, Battle of Britain time. Even by today's engineering standards, the Daimler-Benz engine was magnificent, as the team found when they had it inspected by Rolls-Royce. So they took it down to their shop and measured it and found it was right bang in the middle of these very tight tolerances. And their words to us were, for crod's sake, don't damage the crankshaft because we couldn't make another one with the equipment we've got today. So obviously they, uh, when you think they made about 100,000 of these engines, um, to keep those sort of tolerances says a lot about the German industry of the 1940s.